Right. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. Draft number two. Welcome back to Draft Town. Yeah. I'm your hostess with the mostest. The draft uh, master. The draft master, the draft queen, Slay Boots, the house town. Um, drafts, uh, it's draft summer. Mm. It's it's winter, but it's draft summer. It's you, never know when, um, you never know when this drafts video comes out as well. are so Julia, and I hope that's still relevant. Drafts are so Julia. They're so Julia. Uh, 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 I hope that's still no, relevant when I this comes know. out. It will be. Yeah. Um, cool. <laughs> so no one else knows what this draft is apart yeah. from moi. And Noah has a very limited understanding of what this draft is going to be. And I call this round ultimate menu. Ooh. Now, Ooh. the rules with this are you get, you get two wine picks and you get two food picks. Okay. Two wine picks and two food picks. Two wine, and ideally two you want... Are your, you doing any order? You can do a wine dish, wine dish, 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 wine, 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 dish, dish, whatever tickles your fancy to secure the ones you want the most. Okay. Um, but you want it to be as cohesive as possible mm. because mm. the audience is going to pick the restaurant they'd eat at the most. <laughs> right. So, okay. uh, again, snake draft rules apply. First mm -hmm. to last, last to first. And yeah. once something is gone, it's Gone. I will not take variations. And in terms of wines, are we talking about specific wines? Are we talking about categories? Like it's it's we're we're speaking more specific wines. So you can pick an Adelaide Hills Pinot because it's specific enough that it, it's different to a Pinot from somewhere else. Okay. Right. But that still means Pinot is off the board. Okay. Someone has taken a Pinot. Okay. Cool. But if someone takes Syrah, an SGM can still be on the menu. Okay, fair. All right. Okay. And the same goes with food. If someone's taken roast chicken, roast chicken's gone. But chicken as a thing. Could be many different forms. Could be fried chicken. You just chicken. can't roast could the be, chicken Could be cock of on. Could be. Correct. Yeah. Braise, Braise. Steam. Yeah. 100%. Fry, some poached chicken. Char grill. Yeah. Slap. Does that all make <laughs> slapped chicken? I'm just saying it's chicken. technically possible. There chicken is, cutlets. There, have you seen that? Have you seen the how how hard you have to slap yeah, no, chicken? Yeah, I'm not taking cooking? credit for coming up with that's that. That's like a real man. thing. That's a real to, thing. Today, sir, our <laughs> special <laughs> is freshly slapped yeah. chicken. Delicious. Yeah, you might have heard that Sorry, sonic no. boom from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you just drove into the chicken with your car and hoped for the best. It's a lot of friction. <laughs> All right. So we're going to chuck everyone's names, including cool. Lockie, into random.org. Uh, circa 1998, and we'll randomise five times and hope for the best. Okay. All right. One, Gemma, Noah, Brendan, Henry, Lockie. Henry, Gemma, Lockie, Brendan, Noah. Both are sorry. Never first. <laughs> Henry, Lockie, Brendan, Gemma, Noah. No way I'm ending up first. Noah, Henry, Lockie, Brendan, Gemma. <laughs> How am I never first? And the final one, Henry, Brendan, Gemma, Lockie, Noah. Oh! I'm third. I wanted to be third. I figured out that being dead in the middle is the best way to go because the middle's consistent. I, I I'm see, third I com every time. I completely disagree because I'm really, I think I've got the best one. I'm going to first and last have an advantage I, since, here. You know, you're, since you're the last pick of the first round, but you get the first pick of the next round. So I can immediately just get the two combo yeah. straight yes. back to back. Yeah. Um, on. That's a good payoff though for yeah. being last, I think. Yeah. yeah. I'm in real yeah. danger with my last pick being first. Like what's going to be left on the board it's gonna be <laughs> M &M's reverts again or some shit yeah i like it all right. okay all what's right. the strategy uh look strategy is i think that there are i mean i think a sensible strategy would be to pick wine first because there's probably more like there's you know different sorts of meals that you can pair with for sure sort of wine. Yeah. easy to pair food to the wine rather yeah, than yeah. That, that would be a clever strategy which is why at my first pick i'm going to take a steak <laughs> I'm taking uh, steak. Specifically a beef steak? Beef steak. Give me that beef steak. 100%. Um, do you need to Does know that like mean beef steak tomato is off the... Yeah, you, you yeah, can't. You it's can't, all you, forms of beef steak. Beef both. steak is off. Yeah, beef, I beef feel steak like steak I've, and beef steak. You, 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 I feel you, like I've taken cow off the board for the okay, most part. Yeah, for the you most part. You haven't. You, yeah, you, yeah, you okay. know, veal is still up there. You know, you can have a good veal steak. Oh, different age of the cow. Different age of the cow. <laughs> 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 age of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we're getting specific. We're talking about cow large. Okay, big one steak. Steak brackets beef. Yeah, and you've got no idea what I'm hunting with my second pick there, do you? Anyway, please. Brendan. I am glad that you chose steak. I'm really, because I was really terrified that you were going to choose. I'm terrified that anyone's going to choose, so I just want to wipe it off the board immediately and say champagne. 
Oh, yeah, oh, see, yeah. this that is that is the great pairing option yeah. because you know you've not only got an elite wine style for sure, but the options for pairing are also elite. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, 100%. now I open my list and I've done. Oh damn! Yeah, you've got some prep. I've work done. done there. A Holy lot, shit. a lot of research I've written wow. down. Wow, fourbacks on four Tasting and notes. So my first pick is a classic for me, a Claire Valley Riesling. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah, yeah. again, yeah. versatility. Riesling gets knocked really off the board good. Early. You can do a lot with gets it. On base. Gets on gets on base. base. Yeah. Gets just, on base. Just good. And that eliminates a lot of Riesling from everybody else. So For sure. I, that, that eliminates some sweet wines and as you well. And you can do Riesling with your dessert. You can do Riesling with your Thai food. You can do Riesling with anything. It's so versatile. Mm-hmm. So my thoughts with Riesling are, even if someone takes my food pairing choice, I'm still left with a world of opportunity. Yeah, you got mm-hmm. backups there for sure. Uh-huh. This uh-huh. is good. This Noah, is good. what do you think? Oh, oh yeah, I'm up next. That's right. Oh, is fuck, it? it's been five already. Holy shit, that's Wait, where's Loki at? Oh yeah, Lockie. Wasn't it? Oh wait, sorry, I messed that up. It's Lockie then Noah. Yeah. What did you say, Jenna, again? I said Claire Valley Riesling. <laughs> what you Does that mean all back? Riesling's off? He goes Eden Valley Riesling. All like, no, Riesling's, no Riesling's off. off. Okay. Then you go Eden Valley. Re- yeah, no Ries- Riesling. Riesling is off. Riesling's off. Does that mean you pick champagne? Does that mean it's champagne, champagne is off? No, 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 Chardonnay, no, no different. just champagne. Just champagne. Yeah, 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 because I think that takes the variety out a little bit too much. So yeah, yeah, a bit of a fun fact for you, Lockie. It's yeah. only allowed to be called champagne if, if it's from really champagne. Specific <laughs> region in front. Yeah, it's one. For, <laughs> it's the same yeah. thing with but port. The reason I'm asking is because is all Riesling gone? All it? Riesling is gone. But you said Claire Valley. I said Claire Valley Riesling because I specifically want to pair a Claire Valley Riesling with my food. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I'm still because yeah. you can be specific about what you want. Right. You can want a Dolcetto from Dolcetto if that's so, a place. Probably so not. I announce that Chardonnay. It's not. Champagne, <laughs> but I get every other type of Chardonnay ever. Feels yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You, you could take Correct. Burgundy well, Chardonnay. Every other Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Corn, <laughs> I love that. I love that. Corn's on the market for Merceau, Chablis. Yeah. Everything from Dr. Edge, basically. Yeah. No, I feel like Chablis different. I feel like Chablis it's falls not. into the no, same no, category as Champagne. No, it's no, not. White Burgundy. Is white burgundy off? Because it's also... Oh, wow. I know what's going on here. But then when you, when you can take off Chardonnay, Chardonnay yeah. Well, you you can no, but so but you can still take you can, Chablis Chardonnay you as your option, and it want, still wipes out exactly Chardonnay. Exactly right. If you specifically want Chablis, that's cool. But Chardonnay's still off the cards. If you think a Chablis will yeah, pair go. better with your food, then go Chablis. But no one else can choose but Chardonnay. You can still can't even have Chardonnay. Even if you chose Chablis. I don't, I don't agree with it, but totally. If you want Chablis, it's Chablis and therefore it's also I'll, Chardonnay. I'll, I'll wrap Chardonnay bracket Chablis. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'll leave it at Chardonnay then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Noah. Like, fuck you. All right, boom, rank here. What's the first pair? <laughs> yeah, so I get, the, I, get, I get to do the, yeah, the first Yeah, top and pairing. tail. Okay. Yeah. Now, should I go with an outright classic here? Should I just go for like, you know, a, a real classic, undeniable... Or do I go a little bit like, what do I really love? What's one of my I think make pairings? it more personal because I, I think easy wine pairings we are know easy, real, right? Real yeah. yeah. All right. If well, you're curating the no award menu, what does right. it look like? Well, this is one of my all time favorites. Sure. I know we're going late in the evening straight away, but uh-huh. I don't want it. With port. Uh, <laughs> Big port fan. You're not too far. I was going to say the vertical hamburger. Oh, we're not late too Late night. Fuck Euros. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, vertical <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> oh shit! It doesn't even have cheese in it, dog. Um, <laughs> oh, it's good. I'm not. I'm thinking actually a little bit more classy than that. Um, I'm thinking one of my all-time favorites is some Madeira. I'm talking wow. about Madeira. Uh, Noah, my, you're a niche guy, but fuck. Uh, is it phonetic? Uh, M A I D E R A. Isn't it Mad Era? Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. You said my dear. No, yeah, not made error. (laughs) Made error. (laughs) I'm in my made error. That's what they called me in high school. (laughs) And your food pairing. My food pairing. Again, it's going to be a little bit niche, but I'm going to go with a custard tart. Fuck oh, yeah, dog. Yeah, cool. A little cuzzy tart. Yeah, a little cuzzy tart. Love that. Yeah, like a good, yeah, good set custard. So good I said oh. custard tart. <laughs> custard tart. Okay, yeah, no. no, 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 no not in this not day and age. It's 2024, tart. Gemma. Um, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, right. Madeira, what does that wipe wait, out? Wait, so, that doesn't, really, that doesn't really wipe out anything. 
That's so it really doesn't do it anything. It just to makes the board. his restaurant look sick, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've just got a cool ass pairing. Mm. I've got custard tart Madeira, and everyone's like, "Fuck yeah, that's a good option." <laughs> the formatting on my spreadsheet is all over the shop. It is I, really it's all over the shop. All over the that, shop, and it's your formatting gives me cancer. I'll be honest. Oh, it's well. anxiety <laughs> inducing. Anyway, Lockie, with your pick. Oh shit! So you've I got. Wasn't thinking about this at all. Yeah. So you've got Chardonnay already. You can go either for your second wine or you can go for your well, first dish. Say dish. I, I, I like see, I think I'm just going to have to go with like a fucking really generic classic because I feel like it goes with white wine. So I'm just going to say fucking a roast chicken. Yeah. 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 Slay. Yeah. Chablis, I love that. Chablis, Chablis and roast sick. chicken is fantastic. It's like a legit That match. is an excellent, 100%. excellent Okay. Pairing. Which brings me to my first pairing, and this has worked out Riesling. with my Clare Valley Riesling. I'm going with a buttery lobster roll. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Yes. Oh, so yeah. you've got that the acidic awesome. floral thing from the Clare oh, Valley Riesling, which is going to cut through mm. all the salt mm. and the uh-huh. fat uh-huh. of the lobster roll. Oh, I want it in a good. nice brioche, mm. and I want to eat it by the ocean. I, mm. I'm already. I'm, I'm, ima- I'm imagining if I'm like driving my car, listening to this, and I'm just hearing. People say dishes. And I'm like, oh fuck! I'm so hungry. So like, <laughs> I'm, I'm real yeah, hungry, dude, thirsty right now. Top 50, top fifty wine pairings website made me real fucking hungry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll do that. That is an awesome pairing. And you, you, Brendan, with your with your pairing for champagne, if you decide to go with the oh, food, fuck. you could very easily go for a classic. You can I'm go. totally going for a classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You going caviar? I, fuck no. Uh. <laughs> Fried chicken. Oh damn, dude! Hundred percent fried chicken, okay. southern fried chicken. It is, it is, a, it is a real yeah. classic. It is a red hot classic. It's I'm kind of like a about- modern classic. It's a real like you know post nineties classic, but it's a fucking red hot. Classic. I'm thinking of trying to convince all the Discord members whose restaurant they want to go to. For sure. And I'm thinking if they have unlimited champagne and unlimited fried chicken, I'm already in a pretty good spot. Oh, mm. dude. Do you have gluten-free fried chicken? Uh, sure. I'm there. It's, it's all included. I'm coming. I've got all the fried oh, chicken God. that you can possibly all have. All sorts of fried chickens. Mm. Uh, so Strong opening from you. <laughs> Henry. Yeah. What are you following that up with? Your what's beef, going with your steak? beef steak. <laughs> yeah, what's going with steak? Uh, okay. Dude, uh, it's got to be... Gotta be Cabernet. Gotta be Bordeaux. Um, it's actually not gonna be that. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm taking a different approach with this draft. Last draft, I went with uh, sort of like a team player aesthetic. Uh, this time around, I'm just trying to make as much money in this restaurant as possible. Mm. Huge. So like, I've gone for a steak restaurant to begin with. Which nice, is, like, sure. smart cash money. Um, and the first wine that's by the glass in my in my steak oh, restaurant Jesus. is Penfolds Grange. <laughs> 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 equally, equally. So, so I reckon you've said the whole it was like the team aesthetic for your first draft. For me, I read it as every TAB ever. Yep. This could play out kind of the same way. This like is good. potentially, sure. I'm thinking, yeah, it's like one of those places that it's like fake rich sort of restaurant. Yeah, like, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of people wearing Gucci and stuff in there that like aspirational. Yeah, very yeah. aspirational. Yeah. Stepping out of an Astra into your Gucci slides. Yeah, sort of thing. it's yeah. not like you're at like Key in Sydney having like a you know four hundred dollar a head Dego with like some epic pairings. Like no, 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 you in that kind of chain. Like steakhouse, and you're mm. pouring Grange, but you know, still the dishwasher's getting underpaid. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Yeah. yeah. No super. No so one's what getting you, super. What's What's your next pick? Now we round the bends. Um, so we've got steak and Grange. We probably. Oh man, it'd be a weird fusion restaurant, wouldn't it? Um, you could You could go with a real classic dessert option here. Mm, mm. This is a really good point. Um, yeah, I think post steak. There is something you're gonna love this, Gemma. I'm gonna go with Tawny Port. Fuck yeah! yeah. Tawny Port. <laughs> Justice wow. for Tawny Port. This is, this is everyone's Grange dad's favorite. Steak. What do you do after Grange Port? I want to own a restaurant that Sticky I never have to pay for. A you are gonna one. feel <laughs> like shit the next day. Yeah, it's, yeah, big time. You're yeah. gonna have a coronary. It's gonna be a bad you're gonna time. Be broke. You're gonna be constipated. <laughs> the customers are gonna be for sure. <laughs> you, as the owner of said restaurant, Money rolling bags. in it. Rolling Money in bags. it. Rolling in it. If anyone actually comes. Uh, yes. Yeah, Brendan. Mm. Mm. Cuz I really just I mean I'm happy just to take the first two and leave leave, leave yeah. the team short. Yeah. More That's champagne, not how this more game works. Yeah, okay. No, I, I want to take it in a new direction. I'm going to say ice cream. <laughs> okay, so really good. when you say when you, <laughs> really good. When you say ice Weird. cream, 
really weird. When you say ice cream, can you be a little more specific? No, I want to block off all ice cream. I think you can't do I think Gemma has a flavour of ice cream on her draft. I don't, I don't, I don't. I think she kind of no, does no, too. No, but saying ice cream is like saying red wine. You know, there's it's there a good are point. too many That's actually a fair point. A pistachio ice cream is completely different to a rum and raisin, which is completely different to a fucking like, Smith's <laughs> no, paddle I want to have fried chicken and a Baskin Robbins and champagne. Just leave me alone. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> um, are you having okay. a Napolitan or is it like a Sara okay, Lee no, Rocky in, Road in situation? Head, in my head, it was vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Okay, it was, it was that wasn't so hard. Artisan vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Artisan vanilla yeah. ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. You could, you could have taken that Napolitan and got three flavours for one dog. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 on the vanilla ice cream right. thing, like talking about artisan vanilla ice cream, I've got no idea why when I walk into a place and it says vanilla gelati, I'm like, yum. And when it says Madagascan vanilla gelati, I'm like, that's fancy. Like, why is Madagascar, mate? Like the place I went to I the mean, other day, you just chuck any country in front of it. You could have some Vin de France Chardonnay, but if you have some Burgundy, you want some Burgundy. Tonga <laughs> vanilla ice cream. Yeah, 100%. Man. <laughs> Elizabeth West <laughs> vanilla ice cream. Just throwing something Syrian in front of it. vanilla ice cream. It baffles me every like, time. What are we doing here? I don't know Tonga's what's the good. highlight of yeah. anyway. Tonga is good. I think Syria the highlight is bite. that Madagascar produces some of the best vanilla in the world, yeah. and the vanilla that would be used in a traditional vanilla ice cream is probably not real vanilla. Haven't it's you probably. Seen the movie? Uh, have you not seen Madagascar? They like to move it, move that it, and the what they're moving one, is the vanilla the, onto they're the ship to the Western world. Absolutely pumping it out. They like to move it, move it, and the it is vanilla. It turns out that I didn't know that vanilla was from Madagascar, and I feel like a goose to bring it up. Thank you for informing me. Ring a ding ding, boys. <laughs> Um, which brings me <laughs> to so my unhinged. which brings me to my second pick, and I have a lot of options left because I did extensive research. Mm. But I've started with an entree, right? A riesling and a lobster roll is a good way to start. Mm. So I'm gonna follow it up. Oh, now there's so much I could do, and there's so much I'm excited about here. I'm gonna go with what's gonna be the most impressive for this group in terms that they don't think I would know this. Okay. Mm. Okay. And there are two options I can go here. So I'm going to take some Zinfandel, specifically from the Napa Valley. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm out. <laughs> You're out, I'm out. I'm out. You had me in the first half. I'm good. All right, I just want Zinfandel. It doesn't have to be from the Napa Valley. I'm good. I'm out. I'm still good. <laughs> can I have a mid-draft no. redaction? No, no, no. What? Pick- your pick, your, your pick is in. Your, it is in your, your, you clearly got notes off an American you've ta- website. You, the the no, Zinfandel's come up onto the stage. It's shaking hands with the GM. It's got the jersey. It's on the no, table. Can I change? <laughs> you can, can I trade? trade? No. Can I trade? And meanwhile, Claire Valley Riesling's like, who the fuck did you pick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, I need a trade. Well, I'm not going to trade. I got a party with this? <laughs> I'm feeling insecure. I need a trade. No, nah, it's too late. Let me it's trade. Too late. Is it because I'm a woman? No, no, no you can pull out every card. It's good you got your notes off a weird website. I need to trade. No, nah, I'm sorry. Nah. Ah, fine. Yeah. Bastards. <laughs> That's right. Bastards. Hand is off the chess piece. Just wait till you have my pairing and you're all going to want to come to my restaurant, but none of you are invited. You're all blacklisted. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Noted. Lockie, what's your pick? It's probably not fucking Zinfandel. It's not, but I, I literally am like clueless at the moment of what to do. So I just like quickly off, off the, the dome of panic. And you found just, Zinfandel? I'm just going to do like uh, Bordeaux Red Blend. Yeah, good. That's Bordeaux, good. Bordeaux, it's good Bordeaux, to have Bordeaux in the, Red. It's yeah. good to have in the quiver. It's yeah. really good to have in the quiver. Especially if your restaurant had beef steak. But. Yeah, exactly. But well, you've, you've got some other options, but fuck, okay. I really regret my Zinfandel pick. Nah, it's all good. When my other wine pick was Late Harvest Viognier, I feel like I've made some mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me change. I need to read this website you were browsing Please on. I need to, me- yeah, it must have been published in like 1997, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it means, but I felt so fancy. Okay. Um, this is a really <laughs> weird thing that we're, we're going second, like se- third and fourth round. For sure. And, I, and this pairing is on the table. It is absolutely bonkers okay. to me. Okay. So oh, I, I know what you're doing. I'm going to go take some red burgundy, baby. And mm. that's on there. And then I'm going to back that up. You know what? I'm not going to go the obvious option of, of option of just duck, but I'm going to go cassoulet. Nice. So well done. duck leg, beans, yeah. sausages, yeah. stew, mm. like slow so cooked wrong, with so some red enough. burgundy. I am very happy with my team. It is niche, yet approach, which with good, I'm good. 
fuck. Yeah, your place really? is cooler than mine, but heads and bums on seats, mate. Yeah, you're real bums on seats. Mine's yeah. like if you know, you know kind of restaurant. Hit me out. I'm Hit a hidden out. gem. Yeah. Henry. Yo. I'll trade you Tawny Port for St. <laughs> Fintel. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Nah. nah, because <laughs> I, need you, I need you to be throwing in like Clear Valley Riesling. I know you're not going to part ways with this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take your future meal pick? Can yeah. I take your pairing in pick? In the next draft, I get a priority pick. I get to take two of yours in one round. Uh, no, nah, I don't think we need to make agreements across time. I don't know what I'd do with Zinfandel either, to be honest. I've already got and steak already, and pesto. No, <laughs> but, 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 but Zinfandel is going to go really well with your steak. And yeah, it's going to go really good with these pen folds. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, true. It's, it's, so, it's true. It's true. No, explain to me what the beef is with the... <laughs> Well, with the Zinfandel, because I think it's going to go great with what I pair it with. It's okay. peppery. But do we know what you're going to pair it with? No, Lockie needs to take his next pick. No, so... Oh, okay, so, no, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll reserve our future opinions for what you're going to pair Zinfandel with. You've done a really good job of preserving your judgment so far, so I appreciate <laughs> yeah. you so. Yeah, I feel really safe and secure going into the next round. I feel like you're all going to be super I'll be honest, supportive. The first two rounds, we all played it really fucking cool. And if I read out just what the picks were for round three... Tawny Port, Vanilla Ice Cream, Zinfandel, Bordeaux Red, Red <laughs> Burgundy. <laughs> What the fuck is Noah's going on? No, the only on? one and Lockie had that have like their head screwed on right now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what the I'm fuck, just man? We're just, we're just, I don't know. What are we going to pull out in round four? It's just I, f- I feel everyone. like I just picked up Tom Brady, Brady in the draft. because like getting real late. It's like, Burgundy? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Anyone yeah, going to yeah, say yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Cool. Cool. We've still got some really good picks on the table. We've yeah. got Pinot Gris. We've got Pinot Noir. Mm-mm. Nope. Red Burgundy. Ah. Oh. Dog bitch. But can anyone That's choose? Confusing. Can anyone choose more wine? Because yeah, no, but you don't have to pick two and two. No, yes, you do. Oh, it's yes, two you and do. two. Yeah, it is two and two. So yeah. I don't think anyone's got any wine left to pick. Except you do. For me. Yeah, correct. So, Lockie, your final food pick. Um, I don't know if I can do this, but it's hilarious. Is a charcuterie board? That's oh, you fucking asshole! <laughs> <laughs> the hell, dude! Oh, I'm gonna have to go sign in your Tawny Port. What are you doing with my port now, you <laughs> dick? <laughs> Holy shit! You're lucky with the, the charcuteries. Yeah, because what's great? So you're, you've got. What are you gonna do now, dog? Yeah, because the shark, the, the charcuterie board. board really works well with a range of different things. So yeah, you're yeah you're you're in a good spot here. That's good. Shut I like it. All right. Well, I'm pairing my Zinfandel. Hell yeah. That's not from the Napa Valley. With Napa. a if you're gonna take Zinfandel, with a take rich, Napa. hearty, and intensely flavorful lamb ragu. That's exactly the right pairing. That's mm. pretty good. That's a very That's good pairing. Good. Then why were you all on my dick about so it? So Zinfandel well, is is been a bit of a joke in the like, and not necessarily oh, a God joke, damn it. but it's like it's like it's America's dad wine. It's like it was 17- an American wine pairing website. Seventeen yeah, percent alcohol, like thick, super thick. Would red I like wine. it? Like no. drinking oh, milk sh- as if it was red wine. Mm. Yeah, you you will not like it. You can cut it with a so knife. So other picks I had available that I could have picked was a barn me extra coriander with a gruner. Great shout. Mm. Which Very I good. didn't do. Uh, I also had a seared duck breast with a cherry ponzu sauce from Natalie Hills Pinot, mm. which yep. I didn't do. I kind of took that. Or my mm. lemon meringue pie with a Viognier, and all of these would have been better options than the fucking Zinfandel that I'm stuck look, with. Look, the pairing is still good, but yeah. you're gonna if you're a wine enthusiast and is like you're having your you're doing the pairing and you get this lamb ragu come out, you're like fuck yeah, and then someone comes out with this Zinfandel, you're like oh. Mm. Really? What if it's a really good Zinfandel? Yes. What if it's a knock your socks off? With actually, I actually had a really, really yeah, nice Zinfandel the other day. It was like 13 and a half percent. I will allow right. you to change the name of Zinfandel to Primitivo if you wish. No, I like Zinfandel. It sounds okay, like a spaceman. Well, it's cool. <laughs> I tried to give her an out. I tried. I tried. <laughs> Zinfandel. <laughs> we ride for Zinfandel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> cool. Fuck cool. yeah, Brendan. Your final pick. What wine are you pairing with your vanilla so, ice cream? So there was there was a bit of a theme as this sort of played out. As like I felt the best things on the table weren't being picked. So champagne, of course, fried chicken. Then I was just inspired. You know, there's these venues around the place that like sell like sneakers and then fried chicken. Yeah, and butter. Champagne. Yeah, butter. Yeah. I was like, it would be really cool if there was like a wine venue in that kind of same sort of sphere that felt like you were like a tween again. Mm. You know, it's like you're going to like a, a what are they, like time zone yeah. or like a, like a gaming power intensity. Oh yeah. Yeah, Tickets. and I was like, what would I want to drink and what would I want to, if I was an adult there? So I was like, I totally want fried chicken. I totally want vanilla ice cream. I totally want champagne and I totally want Beaujolais Nouveau. 
Yeah, yeah. dope. I yeah, want dope. juicy raspberry yeah. juice wine. Yeah. Yep. Just B. Call it, say gamay. Okay. <laughs> gamay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like B. Yeah. All right. That's good. I don't mind it. I think the vanilla ice cream pairing with the uh, Beaujolais Nouveau is a little bit rogue, but mm. like the concept of the, the venue spider. is good. Yeah. I was thinking like a spider. <laughs> you could do a bit of gamay in the champagne, oh, dollop of vanilla. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Would it? I don't I know. Agree. <laughs> Only it's one way like, to find like, out. It's like I'm playing potions in my mom's makeup kit. Yeah. No, it just I'm, feels wrong. I'm keep that same energy for the last pick of mine. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing with Tony Port there, Henry? Tony Port. Um, well, it was going to go beautifully with the cheese board. That's how yeah. I felt in the last draft. Yeah. Um, a few muscadels, a few good cheeses. But it's back, backtrack, isn't a charcuterie board not cheese? I thought it was just meat. It's meat and dried fruits and stuff. But not, not cheese. But, I thought you could do cheese. I mean, I feel like it's cop out to have cheese board and charcuterie. I think the common mm. understanding of charcuterie board is that there is cheese on it, mm. even though I don't think that's actually. Like if you ordered one and it didn't come yeah. with any the, the cheese, the charcuterie, like, charcuterie's definition the is like sliced cured meats. But mm. surely yeah, you yeah. could you could take the piss and say plowman's 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 <laughs> lunch. <laughs> um, what I'm thinking here is that I'm going to go for an affogato. Wow. Dessert. Obviously, I can't have vanilla ice cream, but I, really like I suppose I'll be chucking like coffee ice cream in there or something along those lines. But an affogato style dessert. Unfortunately, um, um, unfortunately, I think ice cream is off the table. I can't think you I, you can't take that because the the main part of the dessert. Is ice cream made dog. part of all of these wines are grapes? <laughs> <laughs> it's all made from the same shit. Um, I was going to say I don't make the rules, but I absolutely <laughs> do. All right, <laughs> can't have avocado. Can't. Have, I'm not taking. Well, I think it's ridiculous that I can't have avocado, but apparently I can have cheese board when Shakuri board. <laughs> no, 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 I actually no, can't. We can't. <laughs> no, actually, no, you can't. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So, can I su- can I suggest a sticky date pud? I mean, yeah. I was thinking that, but I was also going to go down the line of, it's just my favourite dessert, which is a creme brulee. Yeah, that'd work. Dude, That's yeah. elite. That's Dude, really good. Go That's for really, that. really good. Creme brulee. Um, rounding it out. So, yeah, Beautiful. Very decadent. So, <laughs> if we're eating at, uh, at Henry's restaurant. Book a cardiologist appointment after Henry's restaurant. Yeah, yeah, he's serving us a hearty main course of beef steak and Penfold's Grange, yeah. followed by a heavy dessert of Dessert? 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 Of tawny port and creme brulee. Yeah, I'm going to shit that's my good. pants that's at piece Henry's restaurant. Let's piece together pretty well. I like Brendan's, that. Brendan's uh, nostalgia restaurant is uh, champagne and fried chicken, followed mm. by vanilla ice cream and gamay. Uh, my. I just wish. No, I, th- I, 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 I would well, be very well. happy eating at your restaurant. Oh, man, I'll take the first course just on repeat. So my first course, my entree is Clare Valley Riesling and a lobster roll, oh, followed good. by a lamb ragu with a glass of hopefully the best quality fucking Zinfandel around. Yeah, you could do that. Mm, you could do that. Uh, Lockie's restaurant is very French. <laughs> He's got yeah, Chardonnay dude, and babe. roast chicken, followed by a Bordeaux red with his charcuterie board. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That's I'm good. Pretty sure Lockie's gonna again, win this yeah, one. Lockie's really got consistency. Lockie's here. probably going to win the last one as well. Yeah, I think, I think, so. I think Lockie won the last one. God damn. Well. And Noah's restaurant, uh, his. Well, I think you'd be having the red burgundy and the cassoulet first, yep. followed by the custard tart and Madeira. I'm honestly like. No, these like, are all pretty fun. Yeah. These are all pretty fun. I I I've got the weakest one amongst here, but I don't mind. Yeah, but you also have like the most classic pairing that everyone's going to fucking love. Champagne fried chicken. I still think the best pairing that I wouldn't have thought of is the Riesling and lobster roll. Mm. That's my favorite mm. pairing of the whole thing. Yeah. Mm. Tony Port and Creme really fucking rules. Yeah, that's really good. So um, on the company card, Brent is actually going to be taking us all out and we'll be eating every one of these pairings out in a fancy restaurant uh, just to see who the winner is. I thought because I'm taking you all out tonight anyway to watch a movie. Well, I'm not there. Aren't you there? Oh, that's a shame. Well. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, buy a bottle of Krug at the Exeter and go to uh, Cheeky's have a Brooklyn while <laughs> yeah. That's it. Good stuff, team. All right, All right. votes will be in the Discord. Let us know who you think had the best menu. Where would you what be restaurant eating? Are you going to? What are Give the names a- of your restaurants? Mm. Oh, I, I, so I'm, can I suggest a name for yours? Yep. Tickets. I'm into it. Tickets. It's called Good. Tickets. Because it's going to have gaming parlor games. Yeah. My restaurant's called Missed Opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> Real melancholy vibe for dinner. The only yeah. thing that's playing is like 
Elliot Smith and Sufjan Stevens. Yeah. yeah. Mine's called He Went Out for Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's so good. So good. <laughs> wow. It's a dad restaurant, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it just is. You know what? It, is. it is a menu straight out of 2006. Oh, man. Jesus. Uh, all right. Uh, what would mine be? I think mine would just be... Oh, it's, mine's kind of... It's got to be... I'm just going to call it abstract. <laughs> and I wouldn't go there because the name is so fucking pretentious. Yeah, exactly. Like I've got a very pretentious menu. It's and then they puzzle. have two things on the menu, <laughs> and it's custard tart and cassoulet. I'm like, oh well. I still love that restaurant in WA. I'm not sure if it still exists. It's called Helvetica, where no, <laughs> there isn't a single use of Helvetica in the restaurant. That's Brilliant. <laughs> oh my god, maybe I should call my restaurant Comic Sans, and everything's <laughs> just in Comic Sans. That's good. Zinfandel and Comic Sans. Yeah. Uh, Lockie's is just going to be called Shut Up and Play the Hits. Say la vie. Say la vie. Say la vie. That's Thank good. you for joining us on our second draft. Uh, let us know drafts. what drafts you would like to see because we've done two and now I'm out of ideas. So <laughs> ideas would be appreciated. Thanks, audience. Like, comment, subscribe, give us your money or don't. Yeah.